Top 10 Most Evil Men in History The eternal war between good and evil will continue forever. But these 10 were some of the evil side's best warriors. As expected, many of them had political and martial sovereignty. Number 10. Ruhollah Khomeini Ayatollah Khomeini was the religious leader of Iran from 1979 to 1989, and he didn't tolerate opposition from anyone. In 1988, Khomeini issued an order to kill any prisoner who would not repent anti-regime activities. Many say that thousands were swiftly put to death inside the prisons, and the executions reached 30,000. Khomeini died of cancer a year later. Number 9. Attila the Hun The leader of the Hunnic Empire, with a mighty army and vast land, almost invaded the entire known world. Attila started with the Eastern Roman Empire, then passed unhindered through Austria and Germany, sweeping all in his path with a ferocity unparalleled in all the records of barbarian invasions. The Khan of the Huns from 434 to 453 was killed on his wedding night. Number 8. Leopold II of Belgium King of Belgium from 1865 to 1909, Leopold II started a private project to extract rubber and ivory in the Congo region of Central Africa. The area he took privately was 76 times larger than his own country. By his private army, Leopold forced and tortured millions of Congolese. The Western world forced Brussels to put an end to this, but only after he had killed approximately 3 million Congolese. Number 7. Ivan IV of Russia Ivan IV was the first ruler of Russia titled as Tsar. To stop a potential defection of Novgorod, he built walls around the city. Every day, 500 to 1,000 people were tortured and killed in front of Ivan and his son. The Tsar's family wasn't safe from his cruelty either. He beat his daughter-in-law so badly that she had a miscarriage. When his son got angry about this, Ivan killed him too. Number 6. Idi Amin Dada the tyrant of Uganda, Amin Dada, dictated in a racist and abusive way. He was overthrown but only after killing 80,000 to 500,000 people and expelling 60,000 to 80,000 Asians. Until his death, Dada believed Uganda needed him and he didn't regret any of his crimes. Number 5. Pol Pot Prime Minister of Cambodia from 1976 to 1979, Pol Pot was a true monster. He forced people to the countryside to work in collective farms and labor projects. One-third of the population died as a result of slave labor, malnutrition, poor medical care, or executions. Like labor, the executions were also collective, and the bodies were buried in mass graves. This man had the weirdest communism application ever. Number 4. Maximilien Robespierre The French Revolution was violent and bloody. Maximilien Robespierre was a leader of the revolution and was behind mass executions which were carried out with no trail. In the Reign of Terror, between 18,500 and 40,000 people from all classes died. At the end, Robespierre got a taste of his own medicine and was guillotined without a trial in 1794. Number 3. Adolf Hitler Of course you were expecting to find Hitler on this list. This Nazi tyrant killed tens of millions in World War II, not including the Holocaust, which was the genocide of six million Jews. After surviving multiple assassination attempts, Hitler ended his own life by cyanide. Number 2. Vlad III Forget the other guys for a second. This guy is the true monster. Vlad III of Romania's cruelty was the inspiration for Dracula. That's just the start. Vlad III was infamous for his method of torture, which involved attaching each of the victim's legs to a horse as a sharpened oil stake was gradually forced into the body. 
The stake wasn't too sharp. He wouldn't want the victim to die too quickly. There's so much on this guy that there's a whole Wikipedia page about his torture methods. And number one, Joseph Stalin. The General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union made a direct political and administrative decision to starve Ukrainians. The famine was considered a genocide. The 2.5 million to 10 million Ukrainians who died weren't all, though. Stalin purged any person deemed an enemy of the state. In total, the dark Stalin's reign resulted in 10 million to 60 million deaths leaving him, with no doubt, the true embodiment of evil. As usual, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button to see more awesome Top 10 clips. We come out with Top 10 videos just for you every week. Be sure to like this clip and leave a comment, then feel free to go ahead and check out one of our other Top 10 videos you see on the screen now. Now you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and other social media platforms. Check out the links in the description.